everybody, it's me Crafty and welcome back to my witchcraft series. Today's video is going to be mostly a text video because I'm going to be including recipes for different types of uh, remedies and whatnot. This is a disclaimer if, you know, go see your doctor first <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, don't come back and try to sue me or, or whatever. Um, this is just information I have in my own book shadows and this is just stuff that I use for you know whatever and um, I have a lot of um, different types of uh, herbal remedies and whatnot that uh, we use and uh, you know about half of the ones I have are the ones that have been handed down and then the other half would be from just my own research throughout the years and, and that type of thing. So I've got a huge variety, you know, of things for men, women, children, um, you know, anything from like, you know, curing diaper rash to dealing with uh, dermatitis and psoriasis and um, just different things like that, you know. So. <coughs> Excuse me. If there's anything in particular you want to know about, feel free to shoot me off an email or a message or whatnot, and I'll see what I can do for you. But like I said, go. You know, I'm not a doctor. This is just stuff that we we use, and uh, I'm just sharing that with you. You know, you uh, might want to make sure you you don't have any allergies to any types of plant material. I myself, uh, for the most part as far as I know, don't have any allergies. However, when I was making tinctures, and I'll explain what those are in a video later on or whatnot, um, I was working with a lot of dried plant material and um, <laughs> everything went smoothly until I started working with mullein. And mullein's great for earaches and stuff like that, but I can't work with a plant without gloves and uh, long sleeve shirts and whatnot. Otherwise, I break out with welts um, all over like my arms and, and stuff. Like I can't work with that plant. So, um, which was good finding out while making the stuff that I was making because um, if I had made uh, th there's a, a remedy for earaches and stuff that I learned from the switch in Saskatoon and and uh, where I used to live and she's like you know make some mullein oil and you know just add a little bit of the you know oil to the ear if you have an earache yada 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 which I'm glad I never did because when I started working with the tinctures and whatnot um, my arms and everything broke out in these big red welts and <laughs> and it was really itchy and it was just not good so I couldn't imagine what would have happened if I would put that shit into my ear oops I swore uh, yeah so be careful um, you know you, you don't want to have a real severe allergic reaction which can be really well life-threatening for some people so if you have allergies the plants hay fever all that kind of jazz maybe don't work with plant material or stay away from stuff like that um you know i just don't want nobody out there getting hurt so this is just the stuff that i use and you know stuff that i've researched and info and, and things like that so um i can only take responsibility for my own stuff i'm just sharing the info with you this is what's in my book of shadows don't sue me if you, you know, get hurt or whatever. I'm warning you. Go see a doctor first. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you check it out with, uh, you know, a medical professional. So that's it for now. And then we'll be off to the text part of the uh, video. And I'll probably make another quick one after this, just talking about how to make a tincture and what a tincture is and how to use it and yada, yada, yada. So. See you guys in a bit. Ciao.